What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we are talking about triggers, and we are talking about the Location Trigger. So Location Trigger is a new trigger which I think is still in preview at the moment, and what that allows you to do is it allows you to trigger a flow based on entering or exiting of a location meaning that you could um, set up a flow so that when um, an engineer is you know, nearby your offices, it triggers a, an email notification to the workshop. They can get a notification to say, you know, such and such an engineer is, um, is on their way. Do you want to meet him with all the parts that he needs? Or maybe set this up for customer meetings, um, you know, where an engineer may be drawn out to a customer or maybe a salesperson's drawn to a customer to say, you know, I'm, I'm nearly there, you know, um, you know, I'll be there in five minutes, or maybe send an email to the to the salesperson with details about that customer. So it's got a lot of potential, a lot of great use cases. So I thought I would take you through some of the steps for it today. So I'm in Power Automate here, uh, and I'm going to go to New, and then we're going to choose an Instant From Blank uh, Power Automate um, Trigger. Um, from here, I don't think it's in the list here, but if I skip this and go into here, I can look at my triggers. And if I scroll down, or if I search location, if I can spell, location preview. So location is a trigger when I enter or exit an area. So I'll set that, and then I can create the trigger. And then it's going to ask me for the address or the coordinates of where I want it. So I can like move this map around uh, a little bit and as you can kind of see it'll update whereabouts it is. Um, and as you can see, the, the rest tool is actually quite large. So I live in Manchester. Um, that's actually a, a, you know, a 2,735 meter um, diameter, um, or radius, sorry, not diameter, radius of where it will trigger. So you could type in an address into here. So I could put uh, Manchester uh, Piccadilly train station, somewhere I frequent. And as I've clicked on that, it's actually taken us deep, deeper into the Bing map. And you can see that that radius is now a lot smaller. It's now 171 meters. So that's saying that if I come within 170 me 171 meters of this this train station on this location, um, it's going to trigger the flow and it's trying to do something. I can increase or decrease that radius by zooming in. So if I zoom in, it actually sets it to 85, and if I zoom in again, 43, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And if I zoom out, it'll make that radius bigger as well. So I can do this based on address, and the address lookup is a, uh, a Bing Maps lookup, so I could do um, something like um, uh, tr uh, Old Trafford, which is a football ground. Um, oh, it's actually taking me to New Orleans, that's not where I wanted. Old Trafford, uh, England. And it's taken me to um, to Old Trafford in England. Um, I can also use coordinates, so I can use uh, longitude and latitude to specify a location that I want this to trigger. So if I um, if I copy out that, and then this is one I made earlier, this will actually take me to the Microsoft offices in Redmond. And again, I can scroll down into it to narrow that radius, or I can zoom out to increase that radius. And whenever I'm happy with the radius that I want, I can click on Save. And then that radius is now is now saved. And then I can go on and I can do all my all my usual um, you know power automate things. I can send mobile notifications, I can send emails, etc. Um, and then save and test it. Now Unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, uh, it's currently the outbreak of the COVID-19 uh, virus. So I can't set this up to test to then go out and do something. Um, I could set it up to, um, to to be where I am now and take a short walk down the street, but uh, I'm elected not to. Uh, but it'll work in the same way as any trigger. So if you enter or exit that location, it will trigger 
the flow and it will carry on and then start doing things. So what do you guys think? Is this something that will be useful for you? Uh, I know I come from a big customer service background in terms of sending engineers. So a lot of my examples are kind of very heavily thought in that way, but I would always like to know uh, other things or other um, ways that this could be used. Uh, maybe you want to set this up for your children so that you know when your children's phone comes uh, comes within the <coughs> a radius of your house that you could get a notification to say your kids are home and that'd be great. Or if they leave um, between certain periods of time, maybe you want to uh, be notified that they're they're leaving the house. Not that I'm you know advertising inspired on people just trying to think of use cases for people uh, but let me know in the comments down below what you'll be using this for or what you may use this for in the future if you did like this video i would appreciate a like on the video uh, if you've not already please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and if you could share this video with friends it's always appreciated all my contact details are at the end of this video so feel free to contact me on there uh, and let's have a chat about automation um, and with that I'll see you next time.